Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Greg, thank you so much for your time. The folks move into a new platform. You would think there were a whole new episodes that were rolling out. Everybody is so hyped. Ah, well, um, for season three, they are, we do offer a cut that has new stuff in it. And um, uh, so we, we basically, the editor, Dave Rogers, and I went back and looked at all of the dailies, or he did, and then presented all the cool stuff to me. And um, you know, we do have longer cuts. Uh, they're called super fan cuts. And uh, if there's any excitement, it's probably people going, oh my God, I never saw that moment before. It hasn't, it wasn't in the DVDs. It hasn't been on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So, um, and we're, we're intending to do that for all seasons, but we're starting with season three. That's awesome. When I, when I talk to people about the office and of course everyone goes down memory lane and their favorite episode. And there were two that people wanted me to talk about. The one where the joint is found and the interrogation takes place uh -huh. and the fire drill. Those were two favorites among my colleagues. What was a, something that happened during the fire drill episode that people maybe weren't aware of or what were some things going on behind the scenes of that one, if you can recall? Um, yeah, well, let's see. I think that that was the first one we shot back in season two, I believe. And um it was uh, going to air, you know, in September or something like that. And it was supposed to be in the Northeast. And we actually shot it in August in Van Nuys. And it was like 105 degrees out. But everybody had to wear their wool coats and pretend they were in Scranton. Uh, so that's one memory I have of that. Um, and then the other one, the drug testing one, was interesting because uh, Steve had to leave. So we only got one day to shoot with him for that whole episode. And uh, I was the director and we shot 14 pages to cram as much Steve into the episode as possible. And uh, that was our record for number of pages shot uh, in the series. That's awesome. What I've always appreciated about The Office was it was just fearless in its approach to, to comedy and just touching upon those things. And The Office is one of those shows that's never been caught up in cancel culture or anything about that. What do you think it was? What do you think it is about The Office that still stands the test of time and kind of keeps it out of that conversation? Because everybody loves The Office universally. Well, you know, um, the British show, I thought, one of the reasons why I wanted to adapt it was I felt like there was a, a very strong sense of right and wrong that the documentary had, like the characters didn't. The characters were doing bad things, but the actual show was presenting them in a way where you, you knew that whoever was making the documentary knew what was what, you know? Mm -hmm. And so it, it gives you um, an opportunity to be satiric, but to comment on it and kind of uh, make people more sensitive to things by seeing the, the results. Like somebody puts their foot in their mouth or says something insensitive and then you see the impact that it has on other people. And it's kind of, I think long-term kind of teaches you that, you know, things have uh, impact. Like I, I kind of think the whole, the whole show is basically a, a, a telling people what a microaggression is in a way, because it's <laughs> like, that's what the whole thing is. Absolutely. It's uh, Michael doing that over and over. But, uh. Well, it has definitely stood the test of time. And now we get to see some new parts that we didn't see before. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, a pleasure and super fan of the show. Thank you again. Uh, very nice to see you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.